Order 11, please, sir. The defamation bill has been introduced into this House as part of the Government's programme for this session. The text of the bill and accompanying explanatory notes were published on the 11th of May. Dr Julian Huppert. Uh, I thank the Minister for that uh, answer. Having campaigned for many years for libel reform, it is excellent to see this bill in the Queen's speech and being published, and better than it was in the draft, which says something about pre legislative scrutiny. I particularly welcome the protection for academic and scientific articles and for operators of websites as well. The bill talks about regulations um, applying for operators of websites, dealing with anonymity and other issues. There are a lot of nuances to that. Will the Government be able to publish drafts of those, uh, that order together with the bill? Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my honourable friend sat on the uh, Joint Committee, I know, and I also know that he has long taken an interest in matters appertaining to scientific uh, freedoms. Uh, and I fully agree that there is a need to ensure that the threat of libel proceedings is not used to frustrate scientific and academic debate, and that the law is reformed uh, to provide an appropriate libel regime for publications on the internet. The Defamation Bill aims to address both of these areas in a fair and effective way, uh, and I look forward to further debate as we go along.